How about in Chicago? He said, he said he was attacked by MAGA country. Did you ever hear that one? Maybe the only time I've ever agreed with the mayor of Chicago. That's a terrible situation. That's an embarrassment not only to Chicago, that is an embarrassment to our country. So now on the Smollett matter, Chicago wants the actor to pay $130,000 back to the city for security costs. Guy Lewis is a former U.S. attorney, served with Bill Barr under the Bush administration. Guy, how you doing down in Miami? And good morning to you. The FBI apparently is going to get involved, and you say now it's a whole new ball game. How come? I do, Bill. I do. I do. The, we know that the locals have referred the case to the FBI, and we also know that the FBI has been working on a part of this case, maybe not the most notarized, the, the, the notorious part of this case, but we know that he received, Smollett received an envelope, right, a couple of weeks before this whole hoax happened, and it supposedly contained white powder. FBI's been looking at that, and I think that's going to be a, a big deal here in the uh, next few you weeks. You know that Kim Fox said she recused herself, or that was the way it was characterized anyway. Here's a statement from the Cook County the State Attorney's Office. The state's attorney did not formally recuse herself for the office based on any actual conflict of interest. Instead, in an abundance of caution, she informally separated herself from the decision-making over the case. They're saying that was a term that was used in the colloquial sense and not in the legal sense. Can you make sense of that? 100% inconsistent with what we were told initially. And that's another reason why the FBI will look at this, the process. How did this happen? Who made it happen? And, and frankly, a dismissal like this, where we're not even talking about the evidence or a change in circumstances, highly, highly unusual. Mm. What's your best guess as to the outcome then, Guy? Quickly on that. Well, well, in terms, I think you're going to see uh, an investigation by the FBI. They're going to look at uh, and they're going to talk to people that were involved in this process. And frankly, from what I've seen so far, there were communication from the Obama people, the former chief of staff. I don't know exactly how that went down, but as soon as that happened, we know the case was dismissed. Well, cover up's worse than the crime, yeah? Let's see where that goes. You, hey, you work for Bill Barr, huh? If that's the case, what are you expecting when the Mueller report goes public? Well, first of all, I think the man is a straight shooter beyond question. Um, I mean, that guy, when we were trying Noriega down here in South Florida, he was the AG. He was involved. He was engaged. He dotted the, uh, the I's. He crossed the T's. The guy is integrity, integrity, integrity. And so I think you're going to see a report that absolutely reflects the letter that he sent out to Congress well, Dem last week. Democrats got a big issue with the summary, three and a half pages last Sunday. Did you have an issue with that guy? What, what is condescending? Really, I, I'm waiting for somebody to explain to me how that summary, which was straightforward and frankly, uh, from, a, from a prosecutor, from a defense lawyer standpoint, was refreshing in terms of, of uh, no fuss, no muss. It was straightforward. It was to the point. Boy, oh boy, I, I, I like it, and I'm looking for more of that. It's one of my favorite sayings, by the way, no fuss, no muss. Guy Lewis, <laughs> have a great weekend. I hope you come back. Thank you.